This video was sponsored by EA. Well, happy Tuesday, my loves. And welcome back once again to another speed build. Once again, I need to thank the EA Creator Network for giving me early access to The Sims 4 for rent expansion pack. We are here this week. We are continuing on with my early access deep dive into the newest expansion pack. And today we're going to be building something a little bit more closer to home. I went ahead and built two semi-detached 1930s-style British houses in the world of Newcrest. And that is what we're going to get delved into today. I do have another speed build coming tomorrow too. And there are only two little speed builds that I've got coming. They're quite shorter in length of video. And then what I'm going to do is continue on Thursday and Friday with some more Let's Build the Worlds. So I have got nothing else to say. So let's flop on over and see what I got up to using all of the new build and buy items. And so here we are, my loves, in the world of Newcrest. So we're doing some semi-detached British houses. Very 1930s uh, kind of looking. Now, I love these houses. If I didn't live in the Victorian house that I did, that all that I do live in, I would love to live in a 1930s. I just love the scaling of British 1930s houses. They're very kind of similarly, lay similarly laid out to Victorian houses. And... They've got very sort of tall ceilings and bay windows and fireplaces and stuff as well. So they kind of like reminiscent. They're kind of reminiscent of it. And what I wanted to do was build some using, well, mostly base game, to be honest with you, because a lot of the new pack kind of uh, build and buy didn't really fit in with the theming um, of what I wanted to get across here. And I got asked to build something that I'm kind of used to. And that could act as a kind of multi-dwelling lot like the new pack come with. So that's what I've been and gone and done. You can move two families in here. Each of these houses have got three bedrooms, one of them being a box room and two bathrooms as well. Big uh, living room and dining area. But I wanted a very conflicting taste between both of them. So what I've been and gone and done is a styled one very kind of like traditional and dated. You can imagine like an older couple that have lived here since, I don't know, the 50s or something. I don't know. And they haven't really changed the decor or anything over the years. So it's very traditional. A little bit run down. I made, I made use of like the new kind of like sort of like grungy marks that the new expansion came with. And then the other one, the other house, what I went and did was kind of stripped away any of the original features, which you find a lot of people sadly doing to these houses and Victorian houses as well. They're just like ripping out all of the original features and putting in their disgusting tastes, which usually consists of grey carpets, crushed velvet sofas with diamante sort of like buttons on them and just all round hideousness. So that's what I went ahead and did with um, this house here, the one that we're kind of painting white. I really wanted like a conflict in taste. So you can imagine like the two different families like living in them. I would imagine like a newer uh, or a younger couple living in this one here named Sharon and Steve. <laughs> I don't know. Just that, that's what I had in my head. I really wanted them to have the same kind of shape and stuff. How like sort of like uh, exterior wise, but they're very, very conflicting inside. Just completely different tastes. Um, so that's what I went ahead and did. Yes, I did. Did kind of struggle with this because I was only kind of using base game. And if I had all of the packs, I would definitely have put some more details in and maybe even use some different windows. I think these base game windows work perfectly with it. So I wasn't too, um, I don't know. I liked it. I thought it looked fine. And the one thing that came from this is I was able to use the radiators properly as well. We've got some radiators coming with that new expansion pack. So I was able to flop in some radiators. And yeah, I was very, very pleased with it indeed. I really was. What, have, what else have I got to say? Oh, I do have another bit of news that I haven't really announced anywhere just yet. But I do have a creator code now, loves. So if you go and buy an expansion pack, you can put in the code BUMPKIN. That is B-U-M-P-K-I-N. I nearly forgot to spell that um, correctly then. And it just helps. Um, it helps support me. It helps support me monetarily. It really does. You don't have to use it. I, that is, the option is there for you. If you do want to sort, um, sort me out. <laughs> 
going to say. If you do want to support me, then you are more than bloody welcome, of course. And thank you to anybody that does use it. But I'm not going to be badgering on about that. It's just there if you do want to use it. Um, but yeah, anyway, look at us go. Look at us go with this lovely little house that we've got coming on. Uh, this is on a 30 by 20 lot as well. Doesn't really make sense because I do like a little uh, kind of like driveway in front of them. But because of this lot, there wasn't really any way for your cars to drive up. And to be honest with you, we can't bloody have real cars in The Sims 4 anyway. So it doesn't really bloody matter, does it? But I did them both with a little um, courtyard. Realistically, 1930s houses usually come with a lot more of a substantial garden. They are they have got a lot more of a bigger garden than their kind of Victorian sort of like terraced houses which normally have courtyards, but just because of this lot, it didn't really cater for that. So I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And I have built several of these like semi-detached 1930s houses um, over the years in The Sims 4. But again, I just wanted to play around with the new aspect that we've got. And I'm very happy. Do you have another speed build coming tomorrow? It's going to be a very modern kind of Thai inspired um, apartment block i think it's got six apartments in it i can't quite remember because it's been a few weeks now since i've built it but as soon as the expansion pack is out i will get all of these built up in the gallery as well for you guys to be able to go and treat yourselves and have a little look and maybe um make this black and white house a little bit more interesting on the interior and on the interior because as i said it's devoid of any kind of personality <laughs> now as with the same uh speed with us with the speedboard that i released on friday the kind of traditional Thai inspired apartments there won't be any video tour at the end of this it will just be kind of a few screenshots here and there from both or each of the houses um, and I didn't show you how I furnished absolutely everything in this house either just because I was just concentrating on getting this done this was like a paid opportunity for me from EA so I was like oh I really need to concentrate on this without thinking about recording too much but I did go ahead and record as much as I possibly could um, but yeah, this is me going around putting all those lovely new grunge markers. I think these are probably my favourite grungy sort of pieces. Um, just to make this house look a little bit more one run down. Maybe the um, the guttering is all a little bit leaky and it's made the bricks kind of discoloured. Um, I just really wanted that to like come across. I really did. And then out here, I used those lovely um, plastic white chairs that I absolutely love and they're perfect in a little British garden. I think we've all had them at one at one time in our lives if we've had a garden um, and it just kind of fit in. And this was me figuring out, oh, we're gonna, I'm going to want to put a driveway for each of them. So I end up getting rig rid of some of the hedges. And I know it doesn't make sense because the cars can't drive up here, but that's what I went ahead and did anyway. And I put a couple of cheeky cars in here too, just using base game, of course. Um, and you've probably seen it and I have warned you against it, but my name is flopping about all over the screen um, just to stop me from sneaking any of these shots out before it was time. But here we are uh, in build mode together, having a look at it now. Oh, isn't that marvellous? So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I am excited about playing around with the gameplay with this expansion. I haven't really played around with too much, but... I'm going to give it a go. They've all got their own little boilers as well. Look, they've all got their own little water heaters that I've put out in a little separate area outside. Um, and I just think it worked really nicely. So we're into the first house. And we've got a very traditional, you can imagine your nan having this living room. I didn't really enjoy where the fireplace was. I would love that the fireplace was somewhere like in the middle. But just because of where I put the chimneys on the outside and where I wanted to put the chimney on the other house, I put it in that position there and it still works. It still looks fine, but I would have preferred if I had that chimney like right in the middle, um, but we couldn't and I didn't. Um, but very simple. Everything's base game in this house, really. Um, I do use it apart from those chairs that I've used there. Those are new chairs that came with the expansion. I just thought they looked kind of nice and traditional. Um, but look at the radiators. I love them. And they come in two different um, variations. So one of them is very clean and new. And the other one is very kind of like chipped away and sort of like meant to go in this kind of build. A bit more run down and, you know, hasn't been decorated in many, many years. But that's what I was portraying here. And that's what came across. It really did. But as I said, three bedrooms in each house and um, plus two bathrooms too. So... You all see me furnish. I think I'll show you how I furnish the main bedroom in this place and the same with the next one. But the other bedrooms, you're just going to see screenshots of 
Um, I think that's how I did it. I can't quite remember. Again, as I said, this was a few weeks ago now. I can't, I can't really remember what I did. I just know I was panicking because I only had like three days to get three builds done. And I was like, oh my God, I've got to get all this done. And it was just, yeah, it was a little bit hectic. Um, hence why I didn't record a lot of um, what I was doing either. But, you know, oh look, kettle. We've got a kettle and, and a British build. The first one. Very much looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, upstairs I decided to go for some more carpets and stuff in here. Run down carpets. And you can imagine these like dresses and wardrobes coming from Argos. You know, the ones that kind of like wrap around the bed and stuff like that kind of vibe. But I think it fit in quite nicely. I really did. And I don't know. I just, I enjoyed doing these two builds. I really did. I'm looking forward to being able to have all of the packs and playing around with like apartments and multi-dwelling lots. We're going to be building villages and all sorts. I've got, I've even got an idea for the 64 by 64 lot for the Henford um, save file that's going to be coming. Um, but yeah, anyway, here we go. So this is obviously the next door neighbours, the grey void it's very, very bland and monochrome and just devoid of any personality, to be honest with you. A bit like probably the people that live in it, to be honest. Um, but you know what? I mean, we didn't really have crushed grey sofas, thank the heavens above. But I decided on using these like plain sort of Ikea-ish looking ones. And then I opened this up because it's kind of like a newish kind of like adaptation of the like kitchen area with like a glass sort of like skylight and stuff i decided to open up this kitchen to the living room so it was like this big open plan floor space and i think it kind of works i think it works kind of nicely i was pleased with it towards the end really was even though as i said very very boring and all base game as well so i'm just fed up with using base game stuff i really am i've seen it for so many years now i just can't look at it without being bored i really can't but anyway here we are am i going to move that sink please say i move that sink there we go. Oh, gosh, that would have been absolutely irritating if I didn't. But yeah, you know, and then I managed to fit in like a little dining table in here as well, as well as that big island. Um, And we do a little bathroom off to the side of it. But as I said, two bathrooms. So there is one upstairs as well. Substantial sizes, both of them. And very nice indeed. And then the last bedroom. But that's it. That is it. That is all I'm going to be showing you. But you'll see a lot more in just a second because I'm going to flop up some lovely lovely little um screenshots for you but that's it anyway my darlings i'm gonna leave you now and i'll be back tomorrow with the last speed build um but that's it goodbye